So today I'm revisiting the 1840 in St George's Gardens in southwest London. City and country have opened the doors to their magnificent development. It's a beautiful grade two listed building being converted into one, two and three bedroom apartments. I can't wait to see what they've done so far. Now this three-storey brick building with its beautiful gables and parapets and stone detailing is a wonderful example of Victorian architecture. This is a highly distinctive local landmark. So many people know about it and to see it being restored and converted is an absolute joy. It's one of the most well-preserved buildings of this style in the area. And its completion date? Well, it's built into the brickwork of the front entrance. 1840. Now an entrance lobby is so important because it gives a hint of the architecture and the beauty that you hope you'll find through the rest of the building. And as lobbies go, it doesn't get much better than this, you know. It is stunning. It feels grand and it feels rich with so much quality everywhere. You've got new floor tiles, Beautiful period wallpaper on the wall. But look at that for a ceiling. It's like being in a chapel. <laughs> and then you have this, the atrium. I have to say, I think this is my favorite part of the entire building. Just look at it. And when I saw this for the first time, it was painted this kind of washy light blue and it looked really awful. And now it's got this really deep green vintage color on the walls and it just makes it so classy and smart. And it's on this level where you get lots of help and support. There's gonna be a concierge here to help you out and take deliveries. And there's also gonna be a fantastic security system all working from your mobile phone to give you peace of mind that you're living safely. But this, it's an architectural wonder. Wow. This is so stylish and so chic and very refined. Straight away, you're just impressed by the combination of old and new. The restoration of the ceiling is gorgeous. Beautiful high skirting boards around the edge. You've got wonderful mullioned windows that have been really well restored given views out onto the garden. But with anything new, like the kitchen, it's very slick and very elegant. Honestly, the standard and specification of the apartments in 1840 is exceptional. Now the quality of the kitchens is second to none. You've got a beautiful sink, stone worktops, loads of storage, and state-of-the-art appliances. And as soon as you walk into the bedrooms, you just feel calm and you relax. A very simple, clean space. Quite light and bright, beautiful high ceilings. And behind this wall, lots of walk-in wardrobe storage. Now, all of the bathrooms and shower rooms are just beautiful very calm spaces to just indulge yourself. And the spec of everything is right up there. You've got these gorgeous porcelain tiles on the wall and the floor. I love this tile detail around the mirror and all the sanitary wear is of the highest specification. And there's little touches that just make it sing. Look at the light around the mirror. I love that. Very beautiful quite soft light through the space. And it's a demisting mirror as well. Perfect. So this is City and Country's 1840 sales office. And there's a great team here on hand to give you all the help and support you need to choose the right home for you. This will all be converted into a fantastic apartment for someone. But come and have a look at this. Nothing gets me more excited than an architectural model and a bit of interactive technology. God, it's a beautiful model. Oh, my word. 
Now, what's incredible about the 1840s development is that it has eight acres of beautiful gardens, courtyards, and lawns. And neighboring the development, you've got Balham, Tooting, Earlsfield, and Wandsworth Common right on your doorstep. It's unbelievable. It's the very best of London village living. Now, as a specialist in restoring and converting old buildings, city and country have done it again. The 1840s development has only just opened its doors, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I have to say, I can't wait to see it all finished.